I begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land we're gathered on, uh, the Gadigal people and, uh, from the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to Elders past and present. I'm an Aboriginal woman. I was born on Wurundjeri country, but my family are Kuki Yalanji in far north Queensland. I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people present this evening. Me too, powerful, international, so visible, from Tirana to Tracy, from Mona to Monica. Me too is a thunderclap from women against a particular form of injustice. But for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women, me too is not enough. It is not enough to recognise that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women experience sexual harassment and all too often sexual abuse at work. And it is not enough to recognise that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women, like others, experience harassment on the streets and the casual everyday misogyny, which sadly, barely, women barely notice after a while. It is just not enough. But Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women need much more than me too. We are not just women. We are women who suffer the impacts of colonisation, our stolen land, denied the right to speak our language, forbidden to practise our culture, our babies and children ripped from our arms, some will, who never will again feel the embrace of family, the nurture of culture. Do you know, I used to see my mum hiding behind the trees in the laneway watching my brother and I at lunchtime at school. I only realised a few years ago why she did that. She was terrified that we would be taken and she was trying to protect us. Tonight, I want to focus your minds and maybe your hearts too on this systemic, systematic violence and racism. Let's talk numbers. What I'm about to say next is horrifying, but I beg you, don't switch off. These may be just statistics to you, but for us, for me, they are personal and devastating. Sitting with these numbers is every Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander person in this room. Look around, see us all. This is what's happening to us. Today, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women are 34 times Yes, 34 times more likely to be hospitalised because of family violence. And we are 10 times more likely to die from a violent assault than other women. Heard enough? We are more likely to have our children removed than other women. Our kids become lost in a big white system lost. Know that today there are about 18,000 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children in out-of-home care, about 10 times the rate of other children in this country. Many live with families outside of community, disconnected from kin. That is another way governments destroy our culture. Our people are the most incarcerated in the world today. Our women are the fastest growing prison population in our country. Australia-wide, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women make up just 1% of the population, but one third of the female prison population. We are imprisoned at 20 times the rate of other women. 
and 13 times the rate of men who are not Aboriginal. More than 80% of our women in prison are mothers and 90% have experienced family violence and sexual violence. Our babies are still born at double the rate of other women. And even if they live, our kids are five times as likely to suicide. In the first 10 days of January this year, five Aboriginal girls suicided in separate incidents in Western Australia, Townsville, Adelaide. The girls were aged between 12 and 15 between 12 and 15 years old. These are our babies, our children, our future. Statistically, as an Aboriginal woman, the non-Aboriginal women in this room will outlive me by nine years. Had enough? Me too. I want you to understand that our fight is broader than gender. It must be. Our fight is also about race, to fight the stigma associated with being black in this country, our country. We must confront the forces that demonise us daily in the media, that blame us for what white colonisation continues to do to us. As an Aboriginal woman, it is an honour to be standing here in front of you. It is an opportunity to change the story. But let me be clear, you cannot and will never change this by taking charge, problem solving and speaking for us. That approach makes us silent and invisible. You can be a real ally, stand beside us not in front of us and not over us. Support our women leaders and their communities by understanding that self-determination for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women and all of our people is the only true, honourable and valid way forward. Learn about the real history of our country. Respect us as First Nations people nurturing the land, our families, our kinship systems. I ask you to put your energy, commitment and power behind our cause. I ask you to put your money into our fight. Our governments claim violence against women is a national priority, but here are the facts. While we welcome the recent funding commitment from the federal government for our frontline work until 2023, our organisations are still in crisis. We have not received a real increase in the past six years, six years to properly meet our services, frontline services for women's safety. And we continue to lurch from funding cycle to funding cycle. Our national body that represents the voices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women experiencing family violence still has no funding certainty from our federal government beyond 30 June next year. We are the only body that represents the voices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women on family violence. And we are at risk of losing our voice and visibility. Our voices must be at the centre of the national conversations, not sidelined and not shut out. Tonight, with incredible women on the stage and in the audience, we can link the needs of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women, so often ignored and rejected, with the global Me Too movement. Thank you, Tracy Spicer, for moving over. 
to give voice and visibility to the courage of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women and the integrity of our cause. My big ask is this, become an activist beyond Me Too, a champion for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women's rights, our self-determination, but follow our lead. And you can always give money, it's easy, we need it. And you can donate at https colon forward slash forward slash www.givenow.com.au forward slash fvpls. Accept that for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women, Me Too is powerful. But it's not enough. It's Me Too but it must be us too. Me too, us too. Thank you.